What's up, Leo? I'm going to be doing your You Verse Them spread. This is going to be a love focused spread. I actually just tried recording a video for you guys and I got like halfway through it and then somebody called me and the video deleted. So let's try this again. Um, I officially put my phone on do not disturb. So <laughs> I am open for personal readings. I've already done a few for you guys. I appreciate those of you who have given me reviews to put on my site and my social media platforms. You guys are awesome. Um, but like, share, subscribe, and let's get right into it. I'm going to be pulling a card for you guys for my Leos, please, in regards to love and romance for this next week. Um, pulling a Moonology Oracle card. We just had the full moon in Libra yesterday, last night. That's all about partnership. So, got to do a love reading, of course. Tell me one more card for, thank you, for my Leos. Okay. You are good enough. Adjustments are required. And look at the bigger picture. You are good enough. Get a lot of self-doubt. Some of you even self-pity. Um, this is all about mindset, I think. Adjustments are required. Having to shift your mindset into a more positive outlook versus maybe a victimhood perspective right now. Look at the bigger picture. There's a reason these emotions are coming back up for you guys. If you're having emotions about trauma from the past coming back up, it's for you to finally face it and to purge it, okay? Just be mindful of that. Let's get right into your spread. So it's going to be you versus them spread. We're going to do your minds, your heart, and your soul for both you and your person, current situation, and what's crossing it, the obstacle. Let's see what we got for my Leos, please, spirit. Let's see what we got for my Leos. <clears throat> Show me what I need to see for my Leos and their person, please, for love and romance for the next month. You versus them. Heart, soul, head, heart, soul. Overall energy, king of cups. Lots of freaking love here. Lots of love. Lots and lots of love. Could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio with the king of cups there. It's this water, water of signs. So let's get into some clarifiers for my dear Leos. For my dear Leos. Got a nice even spread of like all different energies on the board here, not one that's dominating the other. Not that many wands though. Okay, so what's in your head right now is a little bit of a stubbornness, not really wanting to work with anybody. You might not want to work with your person. In your heart, this relationship, there's an imbalance here. There's a struggle here. There's a disconnect with the lovers in reverse. And in your soul, there's a delay in a long-term commitment or there's a lesson that has not been learned with the hierophant in reverse. In your person's head, they're holding on to you. You know, you're very precious to them. In their heart, they want to send you a message of love with the Page of Cups. And in their soul, they're releasing the burden of the situation. They're no longer going to let it hurt them, you know, be at their detriment with the Ten of Wands in reverse here. <clears throat> Overall connection is at a crossroads, okay, with the Two of Swords. And what's crossing it is the Page of Swords in reverse. This is a little bit of spying. It's also a sneaky energy. The Page of Swords is a very cutting, it's a very... Um, not seeing the full picture and you got look at the bigger picture in your oracle sorry i showed you the photo but not the words page of swords it's someone who kind of takes action without all the information you know it's like i'm just going to be impulsive so tell me about the three of pentacles for my leos please You don't really want to work with somebody right now because you're too focused on your own seeds that you want to grow. You're putting energy into yourself right now. To your own passions, your own goals. Talking about the lovers for my Leos. For the lovers, yeah, there's some conflict here. There's some competition about what's not known. There's some secrets here in regards to this connection. Five of Wands. You might feel as if you're competing with other people, but I don't think that way. I think that might be a thought that you have in your own head, that your person might be talking or flirting with other people and you have to compete for their attention. 
and you're really not sure of it with the moon card here. This is about secrets. This is about what we don't see. It's about the watery nature of emotions. And with the lovers in reverse underneath, that's becoming an obstacle for you guys, but I really don't see them talking to other people, you know? Time with the Hierophant in reverse. You might have some commitment issues with the Hierophant in reverse in your soul, being scared of committing to somebody out of fear of getting hurt, getting betrayed. And now that you have such a strong connection coming through, that's what's creating this conflict, this energy of being stuck. Time about the Hierophant. So talkative. Tell me about the Hierophant, please, for my Leos. Thank you. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, scared of commitment, long-term stability. Four of Wands is about celebration. It's about marriage. It's two Wands on each side, making a stable, solid foundation. There's a fear here about committing to somebody long-term. I just literally heard a losing self. So if you're scared of committing to somebody because of fear of losing yourself, you need to find that balance. Tell me more about the Hierophant, please. Tell me more about the Hierophant, please. For my Leo spirit. Okay. Hangman, you gotta let go and control. Stop trying to control the situation. Let it go. Go with the flow. <clears throat> Your person with the Four of Pentacles, okay, they're really holding on to you. They're trying to manifest you and it's not working. And they're getting frustrated because they feel like they've been waiting forever with the three of wands here for you to come in. They know you're working on your stability though because they see you as the king of pentacles. A lot of earth energy in this reading. Very grounded energy. I like it. Page of cups. You know, they're having a lot of inner conflict in regards to sending you this message of love, of opening up emotionally because they can feel the block you have, this restriction you have, the conflict with the five of swords and the page of cups there. Tell me more about this page of cups in this person's heart. <clears throat> yeah, they want to take action. You have the page of cups in reverse again. They want to send this message, but they're not going to. They're getting very frustrated, though, with the king of wands here in reverse. Very frustrated. They have all this passion for you, all this lust for you, all this sexual attraction for you. And they're just kind of sitting there trying to contemplate, figure out how they're going to charge towards you, how they're going to get this victory. You know, they might see you as the king of wands, very focused right now, and they want a victory with you. They do. They want to come in very fast and forceful, but they know that they can't because of all these energetic blocks that you've put up to focus on yourself right now. Tell me about the ten of wands in the soul. I feel like they're releasing this burden of, yeah, they're done waiting for the right opportunity. They're not going to let this burden them or stress them. They're just going to go with the flow, just like you are with the hangman. Okay. They're done waiting. They feel like they've been waiting a long time for you to come around. So tell me more about the Ten of Wands. Be mindful that, yeah, there's an ending coming, though, with the death card here. I think they're going to be releasing this connection because <clears throat> it's not manifesting they want it to manifest in their head they're trying to manifest the living hell out of this connection and it's just not working with the magician in reverse there something about the two of swords something about the two of swords this at a crossroads not knowing what to do not being able to see the right direction yeah and then you got the queen of pentacles we got the queen to the king of pentacles because this is a strong connection Got a power couple on the board. Beautiful. Very strong connection, but it's hard to release. And that's why it's hard for them to walk away. Even though in their soul, they see an ending coming. Could just be an ending to this tension. It could just be an ending to this burden. But there's an ending of some sort coming about. I don't know if it's in regards to the connection. I think it's just in regards to your person investing so much energy into trying to make it work instead of just letting it work, you know? And that goes for you too, but you're, you seem very focused on yourself right now. Way too many spirits. One more card for the Two of Swords, please, for my Leos. One more card for the Two of Swords, please, for my Leos. Hey, game of three. Yeah, the Hierophant in reverse, the Wounded Warrior. You guys are going to give this another shot. 
Not the wounded warrior here. This is someone who's like, okay, you know, I've been through hell, but I'm, I'm going to fight for this one more time. I'm going to fight for it one more time because this is a strong connection. This is my soul tribe. They resonate with me on a deep level. This is like family. This is friendship. This is love. This is nurturing one another, supporting one another. Okay? Because you both want this long-term commitment, and right now it's delayed. It's out of reach for you. It was 10-10 on the clock right when I was talking about this. Um, and you both want this, but you both feel it's not attainable right now. So let's learn about this obstacle, this Page of Swords for my Leos. What's this Page of Swords about for my Leos, please? Got one card, one more. Ooh, okay, a lot more. I'm not going to take those. I'll take these two. Yeah. So having this immaturity, rushing in, you know, not really taking the time to learn who each other are, learn who you are as individuals, is delaying your passion at new beginning and your Ten of Cups. Okay, your happiness. It's a very strong connection with a lot of passion here, but there's some immaturity around it with this Page of Swords in reverse. There's things that aren't known. There's secrets here. There's you got the moon and the page of swords in reverse. I don't like that energy. You guys need to learn to be honest with each other, to see what role you're playing in this dynamic, because I feel like you both have a little bit of a power battle going on. I think there might be two alpha personalities here, and that's where this clash is happening, because we also have three kings on the board. Now these, these two kings that are together, and then we got the king and queen of pentacles at the top. And that's just, it's a lot of alpha energy here. And then you have the death card, which is very, very Scorpio alpha energy. Oh, Lord have mercy. And then you got the hierophant, more masculine alpha energy. Um, this just feels like a massive power battle. So if you guys are not speaking to each other, because I'm not going to text him first. I'm not going to text her first. I'm not going to text them first because they did X, Y, Z and I shouldn't have to put your pride aside, put your ego aside and see it as it truly is. See it with brand new eyes. What roles you both play in the dynamic. Okay. Work on yourself. What habits you have in the conversations or interactions you have with your person and just be mindful of what you like and how you communicate and what you don't like because that's what this month is about especially with the full moon and libra we just had you guys need to step back look at yourself and figure out what you want to release and what you want to bring with you into the new cycle that we're currently entering we're right in the beginning of a new cycle so figure it out leo you got a lot of work to do um you and your person very strong connection but it's only going to work if you both step into the opportunity to heal yourselves and realize that you're good enough but there's a much bigger issue here outside of the relationship this goes back to you guys as individuals and that's where these adjustments have to come in stop doing the blame game look at yourself and see what you actually contribute not only to this connection but all the connections that you're involved with <clears throat> Okay, guys, this is what I have for you. They want me to remind you there's a lot of freaking love here, okay? King of Cups, there's a lot of love. There's just a lot of pain, too, that's coming from, I think, a lack of honest communication. So get to it. Get to work. Like, share, subscribe. Book your personal reading down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.